now let's uh, talk about uh, logical operators so logical operators works on boolean values so uh, what are boolean values boolean values are either true or false these are uh, the only possible values in uh, boolean algebra so uh, as we talked about uh, literal constants we didn't talk about true and false in python but uh, in python we can write the constant true like this so t should be capital and true but uh, why i didn't talk uh, talked about this true and false in uh, the uh, basics lecture is because in python true is not exactly a boolean so there is this function called is instance which checks whether uh, let's say the given object is of type integer yes or whether it is of type str so what happens is true actually is nothing but an integer what i can say is 5 plus 2 would be so uh, booleans in python are nothing but integers and this is the reason why i didn't talked about boolean values previously but uh, yes it has uh, a boolean type if i go type of true it will be bool but this is inherited from integers so boolean are nothing but integers so uh, now let's talk about uh, the logical operators and uh, as we all know uh, the not is an unary operator and it has uh, a very basic truth table so x shows us the input and not of x is uh, the negation so the z not of 0 would be 1 and not of 1 would be 0 so if i try this i'll say not true this will be false and uh, not false it will be true and if i talk about uh, the and operator it has a uh, two operands x y so the truth table looks something like this so x and y so uh, and says that uh, both if both of the output or both of the operands are true then only the result will be true so in this case no nope, no uh, both of them are not true hence this is false both of them are not true false false in this case both of them are true hence is true so this is uh, the truth table for and operator let's try it out true and false 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 and true would be in true and true would be true so this is how and works talking about or or takes two operands and what or says is at least one of the operand should be true so in this case uh, none of the operands is true hence it would be false in this case at least one uh, of the operand is true hence it is true at least once is one is true and at least one is true again and hence this is the truth table for all now let's uh, try it out the true and false will be no sorry true or false it would be true false or false would be uh now there is an interesting fact as i said uh python doesn't have booleans uh python uh, it doesn't have booleans as primitive booleans are nothing but uh, integers so booleans are nothing but integers 
So how does this or an and operator works? If language doesn't have booleans uh, as primitive types, how does these two operators work? These two operators works on the concept called truthy and falsy values. Truthy values are those values which are not absolute truth, uh, which are not absolute true, but can be considered as true in Boolean. So if I talk about uh, any positive integer or negative integers, these are not, uh, these are not true values, but these are truthy values. Similarly, uh, a non empty string is a truthy value and obviously true is a truthy value. Uh, zero is a falsy value. It is not a false, but it is a falsy value. It can be considered as a false. An empty string is a falsy value and obviously false is a falsy value. So if I say five and zero, as I can see, this is a truthy value and this is a falsy value. So in case of and both of the values should be true and hence this will be true. Why not is it true or false? So this is a very basic mathematical principle or uh, this is uh, these are the very basic rules followed in Boolean algebra. So in Boolean algebra, there is this rule that we follow zero or B is always equal to one or B is equal to one zero and B is equal to zero one and B to B. So as we all know, in case of or at least one of the input should be true and then only the or operator will be true. So now in this First, uh, first equation, it depends on B whether it will be true or not. Hence the out output is B. In here, at least one input is uh, true and hence the output will be one. In AND, both of the inputs should be true and given that first input is not true, hence the output will be zero. And in here, the output will be B. If I consider this given value, as a what will I see is that in these two equation the output was a and the above two equation output was b. E. So if I talk about this 5 and 0 given that 5 is a truthy value and the operator that I'm using is and so in case of truthy value in AND, the outcome is always B. That is what happened here. So now uh, if I try writing, uh, let's say 5 or uh, 7, obviously both of these inputs are true, but the first value is true. Operator is OR. Using this equation, I already know that my output will be and again the output is 5. So this rule is called short circuiting. So given that I, uh, that I know the uh, first operand, I can compute the output uh, at that particular time only. So what I did was I just need these two things, the operator and the first operand to compute the result. I may not know the value of second operand to know the result. This is what the short circuiting rule dictates me. So this is uh, how these tricky questions and uh, the uh, logic behind the uh, logical operators works in Python. So this is it for this video guys. Thanks for watching.